So as you guys all know that there's like many battlegrounds, there's anime battlegrounds, superhero battlegrounds, there's random shit battlegrounds, movie battlegrounds, it's Sonic battlegrounds. But what's the best battlegrounds? And this is my opinion. It, y'all can like whatever you guys can like that shitty, sh- the strongest, overpowered characters and that. But my favorite battlegrounds and quote unquote the best battlegrounds ever is shenanigans. Now I will tell y'all some reasons, but once again, this is my opinion. You guys don't have to like nothing about it. Uh. If you guys cry about it in the comments, I'm not going to read them. I don't care. I'm not going to look at it. You can say whatever. Do whatever. I don't really care. Okay, so basically what Shenanigans is, it's basically a Battlegrounds game, obviously, of this anime called Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't know if I sound like I butchered that name, but uh, it has Megami, it has Maito, Gojo, there's uh, Hikari... There's Yuji slash Sukuna. There's going to be more. Megami's just in this. He's free now. But basically, I think my my opinion about shenanigans is that... But wait, before that weirdo finishes what he's about to say. I, I realize most of y'all aren't subscribed. And I hate to be one of those YouTubers that say, please subscribe. But if you guys can please subscribe, I really love it. And I appreciate it. So I'm trying to get to 80. So let's get it, man. I love y'all. It's just like you can also it's like so creative. No battlegrounds. It's parkour really in the game. Not really like, like this. I mean, you cut parkour. Like, most same of the battlegrounds name. you see, I don't really is know. Like just a you battle could arena. Complain about whatever you think it is. It's a huge ass city. That but you it's can basically go where you can jump on you walls, break everything, and climb up stuff. It's fun just that right off uh, the bat. You can run on walls if you're like if you aim it right, and I think that's really cool and stuff. And another thing they don't have is our ability, special abilities. I think I've seen like one special ability game, but I think it's like it was after Shenanigans, so they were trying to like copy Shenanigans, but I don't know. I'm not saying ex- exactly that's what happened, but I I'm just saying I haven't seen really any other game slash Battlegrounds do the R move, where the special moves for like Gojo, it's like you can teleport, Mega Me. You go underground. Yuji doesn't have one. Maito, you can change his arms and shit. Hikari, he has, like, a counter. Um, that's also another thing I want to get into. Um, he does it actually right. Like, Hikari, uh, in Cursed Arena, he is an immortal, but he has a domain that is based off the luck. But in Shenanigans, he turns into more immortal for about, like, his whole old... If he gets his domain right. So, it's an overpowered thing, but Hakari has to get his ult right. Like, it has, he has to gamble for it. So, it's not, like, overly overpowered. You can kill him well inside the domain. Or if you're Megami with your ult, you can go in. That's also another thing I wanted to uh, talk about. Is that with other characters, like, there's so many variants to it. Like, with Megami's Shadow Swarm, it's basically where he gets all the three, like, clones. They just start beating the crap out of you. You can use that on domains. And it literally lets you invade them with all your friends. So say you're playing with your friends. Someone puts your other friend in a Hakari domain. You use your Shadow Swarm. And all your friends go in there. And you just beat the fuck out of the Hakari. That's fun. Uh, like Megami's other move. Uh, his bird. You can either choose to like fly on it. Or just let it go. And his other move, uh, Toad, is either you can, like, bring them towards you, right towards you, or you can bring them up in the air to where you can also combo it with new, which is, that's also another good thing is, like, combos and shit. And it's also a good thing is that you actually have to have skill in this game. I mean, there's some brain-dead moves, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of other battlegrounds with just brain-dead moves where anybody can do it. Anybody can just spam the crap out of it. You actually have to combo block in this game because there actually is unblockables that you, well, you can get hit out of. They're not like totally, oh my god, bro. <sighs> this game is ruined because of all these unblockables. But it's pretty, it's pretty like busted, but it's not totally busted. 
And I think I also like the, like, I like the rank system. Like, the duos where you get to pick, like, a perk. And say if after, like, in arena and duels, uh, you kill this one guy. And then you can go help your teammate if he's getting his ass whooped. Beat the crap out of that guy. You win. And you can just keep on teaming up on them if that's really what you want to do. But that's not ideally what I do. But um, I also like, I like Mahito's thing. But Mahito's thing is kind of overpowered. Not going to lie. Like his thing where he runs towards you. If you hit that twice, then you're dead. Like say if you, I don't know if it works like this, but it might. If you hit Gojo. And he pops his ult, and then you hit him again. That's kind of overpowered, but I don't know. You can dodge it, counter it. I don't. Well, I don't know if you can counter it. I'm guessing. But uh, the one thing about Mahito is that he's not completely like unfair, because you can hit him out of his domain. He has like way longer wind up time than like uh, Gojo, Sukuna. That's another thing I want to get into. There's so many things I want to get into this game because it's just such a good game. Is it on um, Yuji slash Sukuna? If you go into his ult, he has his world slash thing, and it's low-key cool. Like, I don't know how to do it. I've never hit it, but it's cool. Uh Oh, yeah, Sukuna does get, like, a R move in his ult. And Megami, his... Mahats, well, Maharaga was done well in... Thing. Now don't get me wrong Because there's not really like a lot of Maharagas Except for like Curse Arena And Sorcerer's Battlegrounds Which is like the only like Jutsu Kaisen Like games I can name off right now But their Maharaga isn't that good Sorcerer's isn't that good To be honest But um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like I'm not clashing at any game I love uh, all of them I play all of them But I'm just saying which one I think is better in My personal opinion but, um, let's see. I also, I like the emotes. The emotes are really good, too. <laughs> uh, I like the game passes, the kill sound emote, even though you can get that in the strongest. But I just like it. I think it's a good add. Um, I know there's other stuff that I need to get into, but, oh, Gojo. Like, if you, uh, hit a lapis blue while you're in your ult on somebody that's already about to die you can like hit the reversal red and it, it makes a hollow nuke which explodes everywhere hey, that's fun too that's fun as hell uh like i like the combos that it lets you do like if you do lapis blue while out of your ult and then as they're in the air you press the r move you can kick them down and if you, you can add a reversal red with it too if you're good. Like or if your reaction time is good. But that's cool. On Gojo's ult with uh his other R move, like his special R move. I like that too because it's cool. It's like you hit them with a reversal red. Or if you miss, you could really just miss and then they'll be like, Ah, you miss probably in their mind, but and then you hit the R move and then you hit them with like a black flash last minute. That's just so cool, man. Um, Hikari, now I'm not gonna lie, the only thing I don't like is probably Hikari. I hate Hikari, I hate the new buff he got. Every single time he gets out of his ult, he gets 75% of his ult back, and I just don't like that. I think that is low-key bad. Because, like, you kill, well, not really kill, but you're fighting Hikari, he pauses his ult, he gets his ult, turns into mortal. As soon as he's done with his ult, he gets 75% of it back. So he can just keep on popping it and popping it and popping it. I mean, I kind of like it, though, because it kind of referenced to the anime, well, the manga, where he just keeps on spamming that shit. He's like, oh, out of death gamble. You know, that's kind of cool. Um, I think Manji Kick is a pretty overpowered counter, but it's like a meme at this point. It's fun, but... What else, what else do I need to settle down? Hmm. I think I think that's really all it. But uh, I hope that you guys, if you haven't checked it out, or if you're just a shenanigans warrior, if you only play shenanigans, well, not shenanigans, but the strongest. If you only play the strongest, I think you should really check this game out because it's really fun. 
uh, there's multiple ma multiple maps if you go to the server, and that's really that's that's one of the best parts ever, is the different world maps and how different they are and shit. But I hope you guys check it out. I hope I convince you guys that to play it or at all. Also, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it forever, guys. I know I was on vacation. Uh, I'm gonna start getting back onto it. This is just a quick video uh, to like some of the games I've been playing as of right now. It's pretty fun. Uh, I'll try to upload a horror game tomorrow, maybe, or it might be a Type Soul one. I don't know yet. Uh, but I hope you guys all have good days. I love y'all. God bless, and let's try to get to 80 subscribers because you know uh we need it man we need the milestones you know let's get it also join my discord server uh i'll put it in the link down below well in the description down below but you guys you guys know what i'm talking about never mind the jealous ways because they just want your life yeah if I go to jail today, nigga, my bond getting paid tonight.